Alright you guys, this is the uh, eighth video for the prologue. Load complete. <laughs> and Wendy's like, I thought it might be a chance to go home, but apparently I failed. Yep, he knew about that. She's all irritated. Here, she's like, if so, then I have to understand I'll be in this situation for a while now. Just being frightened, if you don't know what's going on, won't tell me anything but the general, and I have to find out what I can do to protect my family, she tells herself. And see it changed with the music. She's like, can we really go back when the contest is over? She asks him. Contest is over at the end of the day. You can go back and go back and go back. That's a good idea. Peter's trying to, like, dodge here. He's like, at the end of the contest, you can go home if you so desire. That's the rule. Of course she desires it, Peter. She's been asking since the beginning. Grief. Yeah, and she's trying to put him under the eye. Like, she went and looked at him. Kakoni Shinsain to Shite Tretekta Nanin Kawa, Bokuno Sekai ni Nokoru Koto no Zonde, Sonoma Nokota Remo Arukara, Skinny Shite Iyo. Peter's like, some of the people I brought in as judges in the past hope that they will remain in my world, and in some cases, they remained. So you can be like them. The creeper wants us really badly. She said, take me home multiple times to him. Like, this is not new to him. She tells him, is there any, like, is there another person who was taken away? I wish I could stop this contest that involved people from another world. She's all upset now, like, the injustice of it. Like, he just kidnaps these people all the time. And Wendy to herself is like, what? There were other victims? He's telling her that this is a very important ceremony for us, so we can't stop. The contestants are basically people who are always in a fight. And here you find out like the twistedness of Neverland, which kind of ties into like what they did with Wonderland later for the Alice games. But yeah, um, there's like a correlation there kind of coming up. Nandomo, Nandomo. それこそ気の遠くなるほど何度も争っているうちに争うことが退屈になってくるんだ。Here Peter just tells her straight, he's like over and over, over and over again, so the fight becomes boring. And she tells him, then I should stop the fighting instead. 争いがないとそれはそれで退屈だと思う。永遠の世界での退屈は死ぬことより辛いことなんだよ。He tells her, I think it's boring too, if there's no conflict though, and then trailed off. And he's like, it being boring in the eternal world is more painful than dying, he finishes out loud. That's Peter's like, so at regular intervals, we have to complete or compete for superiority or inferiority in an unusual way. We are keeping a balance of feelings. And this is kind of what Nightmare tells Alice in the Alice games too, but it's more roundabout and like, he doesn't really just like straightforwardly ever tell her anything. So I appreciate Peter's candidness. Like, at least he's like being honest about it. Not just springing this on her when she's in the middle of a fight.
Wendy tells him after a pause, it felt somehow exaggerated. Like, what kind of dispute do you have, except in this type of contest? He tells her it's a life threatening battle. If one doesn't die, the battle will never end. And she freaks out. You can tell the CG's changed. She tells them this means you kill each other? She's super freaked out. And to herself, she's like, the heartwarming atmosphere of the sweets contest turned to me into a bloody story all at once, like suddenly. Yep. And she's like, commenting to herself, the complexions of John and Michael, who were listening, changed. And then aloud, she's like, wait a minute, no matter how much. And then she pauses and she's like, that might be a joke. Like, she's like, considering, like, maybe he's joking with her and trailed off. To herself, she's like, but when I spoke with him in the city, Peter said he had cut off the pirate's wrist. What if that was true? And Wendy's like, allow, or sorry, to herself, there is a fear in me that it cannot be said that it is a lie because the incredible events here are being read to me like this continuously. She tells him it's almost funny. Is it funny convincing us that the people who kill each other like this can settle in a contest for sweets? Like, are you playing around? Contest a contest. He tells her the contest is a contest. The fight is a fight. The fight, after a good change up, is fresh and fun again. Like, to kill each other to the death. <laughs> and she's still, like, freaking out. Like, totally freaking out. She yells at him here. She's like, I don't need the freshness. <laughs> like that kind of refreshingness. <laughs> you can tell it because it was all big lettered. And Wendy's like, I rushed to say in as much force as I could the statement to him, to herself. And then aloud, she's like, I can't judge a contest held by such a bunch of rogue participants because I'm scared. If they don't like the result, we might be killed. それは大丈夫。コンテスト中は殺し合うことを一切禁止しているから安心して。He's like, that's okay. You don't have to worry about us killing each other during the contest. Like that makes it all better. She's like, no matter what happens to herself. And then she trailed off. Was there really no such danger in the past, like to these other like judges? And the CG's changed again. Wendy's aloud, telling him, how many times have you been successful doing this so far? A confectionery contest? And then also, like, kidnapping, she means. <laughs> he tells her this is the first time for a sweets contest. Until now, there were other ones, like... Stones, shells, drinks, etc. Like contest. Did you pick that up? He's like, did you understand that? Wendy tells him, even if it's not sweets, the contents itself is such crap every time. She's like, this is BS. <laughs> And she's like, to herself, it is a heartwarming set of events that I don't think would be held by people who usually kill each other. And aloud, she tells him, why do you think that people who are killing each other are in such a peaceful contest? It's not natural. He tells her, without sharpness, it's boring and unavoidable. Though, if you just do the same thing, you'll lose the attention. So he's like, without the sharpness of fighting, he's like, it's boring and unavoidable. And then he's like, though, if you do the same thing, like the contest, you'll lose the needed tension. 
So he's like, either way, like you have to kind of balance it. And when he's like, if so, you should always have a contest. I mean, even if they don't kill each other, it's okay to have a fighting tournament. And she's like, you guys are idiots. Probably. He tells her, I don't think the usual fight will end until someone dies. I mean, it's all warlike men. And after a long pause, she's like, isn't there any more peaceful solutions? Like, any other solution out there? Or sorry, allowed. Peter's like, even if you say so, I think it's because they're not convinced easily. I mean, after all, they're the most noisy people in my world. He's like, they're the most, like, <laughs> rowdy, basically. She's kind of fed up. You can tell, like, on her sprite on her text box. <laughs> Wendy asks him, what about you? Do you want to continue the fight? Are you sure that you want to stop, like, for the contest? And here he, like, totally lets in, like, how inhumane he is, like, how creeper that is. He's like, if I wasn't so bored, I mean, it was fun to kill each other at first, but... After a long time, I got tired of it and trailed off to her. So he's like of two minds of it. When he tells him it's not a problem of getting tired, it's too dangerous to just get boring. She's like, that makes no sense. And then she tells him also, if you're targeted, may you die? Like, will you die if this happens? <laughs> He tells her not everyone is aiming at me. Only Hook wants to kill me. Who's going to be our love interest? Yep, we're ditching him for him. Here he tells her that Scissors is trying to kill Captain Hook. Or Scissors is trying to kill Captain Hook. あいつら二人とも他の楽しみがあるとは思えないから争いがなくなれば退屈で死ぬんじゃないかな。He tells her I don't think that they have any other way to have fun after a pause, and he's like, so I think they'll be bored and die if the fighting goes away. He's like, die of boredom. That's a big thing there. It's kind of like how like the game plays and like the rules play in Wonderland for Alice, but yeah, it's a little bit different for Neverland. I get so many flashbacks to Alice games playing this, like, wow. Wendy to herself is like, it's boring and they'll be dead anyway. <laughs> she's like, it is boring, because they're going to be dead. And she's thinking idiots probably. She's all fed up on her text box, right? And then she's thinking to herself, he's a thrill maniac, like, for sure. And aloud, she asks him, she's like, you, Hook, and Scissor, trailing off. She's like, who is the other one in the competition? There are four in the candy contest, she asked him. Because he told her that, there's four. And she's like, well, who is the other one? And to herself, she's like, there were only three members in the fight right now, including Peter, that he had told her. And it changes again. Think he tells her Tink, which is the male twin, like, supposedly the sibling of Tinker here, the female, Tinkerbell, um, is a special participant. He expressed his participation this time because the contest seemed interesting. She's like, to allow him, can you become a participant even if you're not participating in the killing of each other? Like, is this a normal thing? So here he tells her four people are more rewarding than three people, right? 
again, the tanks are special because they, yep, they're siblings here, like he tells her, have a good taste for sweets. At first I wasn't sure if they are split forms, um, cause it wasn't too clear in the review that I read before I was gonna play this game. So like, I was a little bit like super happy to find out that there's two different ones, like not just like another form like Peter has. Cause I definitely want to date like Tinker, the girl. They have like interesting routes for girls in their games. And I'm not picky. But yeah, he's like, Tink uh, has a good taste for sweets, and so they're special. Tink and Tinker pops in finally. She's like, if the Tink is allowed, I also wanted to participate. And she's all upset that like, she was denied entry. You'll find out why. It's because Peter's a jerk. He's such a sexist jerk, Peter, you creep. Uh, he tells her, Tinker is useless because this, it's a fight between men. Tinker has no reply at first. Just mad. Wendy's commenting to herself that Tinker inflates her cheeks at this, like the statement. Tinker Peter's like, I think Tinker should be cheering for me. That way I won't be bored. He's such a jerk. Oh my gosh, such jerk. So, uh... ne. Peter to But Tinker is like on Peter's side always, just like Tinkerbella from the original. She's like, I see, after a pause. And I don't want to contend this with Peter. I just have to lose to Tink, her sibling. Wendy asks, she's like, Tink and Tinker have similar names. And here Tink, uh, Tinker tells her, like, that's not obvious. Tink is my brother. Whoa. Oops. Sorry about that. Anyway. <laughs> Wendy tells her here, she's like, I didn't know, so decided to just ask. And then the CGs fade to the backdrop. She's thinking to herself, what is to Sundary? This tinker turns uh, to the side to like avoid her. And it seems that she hates her from her first encounter with me too badly. Like she hates Wendy too much right now to be bothered with dealing with her. Like even for simple questions, sad face. But I still love you, Tinker. <laughs> Wendy thinks to herself here, I think Tink is like this also, like like this too. She thinks all fairies are to Sundaries, so yeah. <laughs> and she's thinking to herself, I thought fairies were more cute. Tinker is cute just by looking at her. Um, but because of the contents of her actions, like they're the best indicator here that she's like this. And she thinks all fairies are. Be blunt and a bit brutal <laughs> with their affection. Wendy's like, the reality is like this. Then there are many things in the world that you shouldn't like know about. She's like, if the reality is like this, then there are many things in the world that you just shouldn't know. So Michael pops in finally, and he's like, my dear sister, look at the moon. And Wendy's like, suddenly called out to, she lifted her face to herself. She's like, what, aloud? After a pause. And the CG's changed with the music because they just approached the wormhole. So Wendy is actually like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, why? Why is this? 
because she's looking and she sees this huge shadow right there, like this hole. She's freaking out. And we're gonna go on ahead and end the video here um, because the next segment leads into like the opening movie now that they've explained Neverland to her. So the next video is gonna be the last video. So I kind of timed that perfectly. Might be a little longer than this one or about the same. So we just hit like 20 minutes on that. Alrighty. Save. Come here. Switching our save spot just in case. Yes. And back.